Hey guys, what's up? I'm still in Thailand and in this video I'm gonna show you my video setup while I'm traveling. I traveled quite a lot the last couple of years and it is always a hard decision what kind of gear I take with me and what is just nice to have. So of course it is nice to have to bring a big heavy Cinecam, gimbals and other accessories with you but is it really worth it? In my opinion not really. The main video camera I'm using while traveling is the Sony A6300. For me it's the perfect cam as I can do slow motion up to 120 frames per second in 1080p and 30 frames per second in 4K. Even the autofocus is pretty good with an adapter for Canon lenses and it got lock profiles which are pretty good for color correction in post. As lens I use the Canon Sigma 18 to 35mm 1.8 art lens and also the Sigma MC11 adapter to mount it on a Sony. For me that is the perfect combination and has a really nice look on this camera. To mount the camera on any type of gimbal, tripod or whatever I use the camera in a cage because Without this cage, it is impossible to mount the camera on any quick release plate because the lens is just too heavy and you don't have a flat bottom. Even if I film a lot of stuff handheld while I'm traveling, I also need a good gimbal or stabilizer to get moving shots. And for that, I'm using the Zion Crane 2. This is the perfect gimbal for my setup because the lens is quite heavy and this gimbal has a maximum payload of 3.2 kilograms, which is perfect to balance my camera. I also really love the fact that it has a built-in tripod feed, which allows me to drop the gimbal almost everywhere. And it's also a nice gadget if you film time lapses. For me, it's important that everything works fast. So if you connect the camera to the gimbal with the USB cable, you can start and stop recording on the gimbal itself, which makes everything pretty easy and fast. And even the start of time of the gimbal itself is very quick. Of course, if your camera setup is not that heavy, you can also use the Crane Plus for exactly the same features. With the new design quick release plate, you can dismount the camera from the gimbal itself. For example, for a handheld scene, we place it on the gimbal and rebalance it in a few seconds. Last but not least, I have some variable ND filters on my lens and that's finally everything I use. I think it's important to keep everything at home that you don't really need. If your camera setup is as light as possible and believe me, it's still too heavy, you will be grateful to not carrying around all that stuff that you don't use. So now enjoy some of my Thailand footage with exactly that setup As you can see I'm finally back home in Germany after traveling around Vietnam and Thailand for the last two months and yes there will be an extended version of this short video I've just seen. But after using this film setup in a lot of different situations I want to give you guys a short little review especially for the Crane 2. After using the Crane 2 day by day I was really surprised how long the battery lasts. I used the gimbal 2-3 to three hours a day and I had to charge it after around one week, which I think is pretty amazing. I also tried the new follow focus feature with my Canon camera 
And it is really amazing and you can do a lot of creative stuff with that. But the thing is, I prefer the Sony cameras for filmmaking and this feature isn't enabled for these cameras yet. So I hope there will be a solution pretty soon. I also realized how amazing the motion time-lapse feature is. You just set up a start and end position, turn on the camera, press start, and you got a really nice motion time-lapse. I really should try that feature before I came home. The Crane 2 came also with this nice case, which makes it pretty easy to transport. Of course, I didn't use it when I was backpacking through Asia, but here in Germany it's actually pretty useful, especially when you go on jobs and want to look professional. Okay guys, I think that's finally everything I had to say about the Crane 2. I love this thing and I really can recommend the Crane 2, especially when you start filmmaking and you want to get an easy to use gimbal with a lot of features. So check the links below and yeah, see you next time. Ciao!